Okay, super. I'm going to hand over to Graham. We're going to start the Discover St. Kitts webinar. Graham, you've got your team in place. Over to you to introduce everybody. Well, thanks very much, uh, Sarah, and welcome to one and all um, to this fantastic St. Kitts webinar. I'm very delighted to you can join us today. And to my esteemed colleagues, I've got Alicia from the uh, Marriott Hotel in St. Kitts. And then I've got the lovely Tracy Dyson from Essential Detail, who looks after Sunset Reef on the island of St. Kitts. She's with us today. And they will be telling you more about their beautiful hotels later on in the webinar. But it is my turn. I'm going to share my screen in a second and show you some beautiful pictures, some videos of the great, great destination that you know and I know as beautiful St. Kitts. So just bear with me while I share the screen and get everything up there. Make sure the sound is on. Let's have a look. Should all be coming up. Can everybody see that okay? Yeah, we've got that. We are in St. Kitts. Yep, it is my book and rewards. It is July uh, the 19th. It's 2023. Sit back, relax, put your seatbelt on, get on the plane. We are flying to St. Kitts. And off we go. I'm going to show you a little video just to put you in the mood and let you know what St. Kitts is all about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. got you in the mood to go down to see kids oops so good we have to play it twice there we go so how do we get to St. Kitts? very very easy um it's an independent twin island federation there's St. Kitts and nevis and together they're known as the smallest country in the western hemisphere um and it's part of the leeward islands in the caribbean flight times for you guys uh anybody from the uk it takes about sort of nine hours direct flights it touches down in antigua then on to uh, St. Kitts itself, you don't have to get off the plane, you stay on there, your luggage stays on there, you stretch your legs for about 20, oh, so about half an hour on Antigua, and the flight from Antigua to St. Kitts itself is about 15 minutes, it's not far, it's the shortest global flight in BA, um, but if you're in the US and you want a twin centre, or well, come down and see St. Kitts, it's just uh, three hours from Miami, and about four and a half hours from New York itself. So very, very easy to get to the island from the US. Now, the airlift from the UK um, twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays is British Airways. It flies down there. But some people now, and it's getting so popular, is the island hopping. And it's very, very easy to do, especially with the inter-Caribbean flights that are available for your clients from Barbados. Three days a week, they fly from Barbados over to St. Kitts. A lot of people will fly direct into another island, maybe via Virgin, and they can collect the either inter-Caribbean or Liat flight uh, from their island over to St. Kitts itself. So very, very easy. Twin Centre and island hopping is so popular. Um, and the islands are so, so different. I always say to people, you think you know the Caribbean. Yes, nice beaches, beautiful sunshine, but venture deeper into the beautiful island of St. Kitts, where we invite you to taste the culture, experience the people, and see the beautiful what the beautiful island can actually offer you. Now, I know there are quite a few US uh, agents tuning in today. So we actually let you know about the airlift from the US. American Airlines fly daily from Miami, uh, nonstop weekly from Charlotte on a Saturday, and JFK in New York is weekly as well. There's nonstop weekly flights from Newark, which is just outside New York, as you know, 
and Delta Airlines nonstop Weedy from Atlanta, their main hub over in the US. And just been announced is JetBlue from the 6th of June, uh, nonstop three times uh, weekly from JFK. So that is a fantastic airlift. And we have uh, the contact details of the US uh, team later on in the presentation for our US agents uh, tuning in today and looking at the recording. So there's no excuse, fantastic airlift, both from the US and the UK to get your clients down to beautiful St. Kitts. Now, we did mention briefly uh, going over to Nevis. It's just a short taxi, water taxi arrive. You land in St. Kitts and go over to uh, Nevis. Six minutes on a nice water taxi. Time they give you a rum punch, you're there. It's that quick. But also whilst on island, you want to explore Nevis, you can get by a water taxi or a public ferry, or you can actually go on the car ferry. It's about 20 minutes and very easy to get to from Charlestown. Uh, sorry, from uh, the main uh, capital Bastaire in St. Kitts over to Charlestown. Very, very easy to do to do the two islands in one day. Some people go there just for the day to see Nevis. Now, if you do like traveling around the Caribbean, once you're on the island of St. Kitts, you can get the Mancana Ferry. And this takes you to some of the islands a little bit further out, some of the Dutch islands out, out there, so, like St. Uh, Eustatius, uh, Sabre, St. Martin, beautiful islands, and you can go there quite easily. Uh, on a Monday and a Friday with the Mancana Ferry. That's quite new um, to the island of St. Kitts and highly recommend it to see some of the other beautiful islands that surround St. Kitts. Now, when you're flying now, as many C Caribbean islands do, they encourage you to do the online immigration form and you can do that very easily. It saves trying to fiddle for a pen whilst you're on the plane. It's all done uh, pre-visit. Just go into knatravelform.kn and you can fill in there, it takes a few minutes, very straightforward, and it saves a lot of time on the plane, but you do need to do that prior to your arrival on the island of St. Kitts. Now, once you land, if you've got clients uh, wishing to sort of have a luxurious experience, we can highly recommend the Cajun Jet Lounge, is when you land at the airport, you met airside on the Porsche 4x4 uh, vehicle, and you're taken to the private jet lounge, the Cajun Jet Lounge itself where you're met by the concierge team. They will collect your passports. They will um, arrange your immigration process, collect your luggage, and they will do all this while you sit down in a beautiful air conditioned room, have a glass of champagne and a little spot of lunch and some nibbles. And when it's all done, they bring the luggage, you get on your transfer and your journey begins uh, on island to your hotel. Great, great experience. And you can do that on arrival and also on departure. And we can forward the details if you need how to book the Cajun Jet Lounge direct with you guys. Now, when you're on island, wow, there are so much to do. We have a rainforest there. They say the rainforest in St. Kitts is one of the only rainforests in the whole world where it's actually expanding. But they're letting it grow naturally. The beautiful trees that have been there since time began. It's just astounding natural beauty. And while you're in the exploring the forest, and the rainforest, you'll see, I'm guaranteed to see some monkeys. I think there's more monkeys on the island than people. But things to do there, we've got a fantastic five line zip wire. You can go on the zip wire and experience the fantastic uh, forest at bird eye level. It's an amazing day to go down there and you go off the big boss, the boss they call it, 250 feet high and away you go on that zip line very, very quick. Or if you like to keep your feet near a terra firma on land, we can recommend a quad bike through the rainforest as well. I've done this myself and it is astonishingly great fun. And you stop and see the splendor of the island. It's absolutely beautiful. And right in the middle of St. Kitts, there's a fantastic mountain, Mount Liamaga. It's there, you can hike it up. Uh, if you do take a guide, it is astonishingly beautiful. Very green, very, very lush. So it's just some of the things to do in the rainforest of St. Kitts. And being a small island, we invite you to explore the seas around the beautiful island itself. You can get a catamaran tour. You can hire a boat. There's some water sports if you want to do. Most hotels that are on the island will offer you non-motorized water sports. But if you do like a little step of adventure, we can uh, uh, do paragliding, donuts and jet bikes. We can do those as well down on Reggae Beach. A lot of people will go fishing, deep sea fishing 
down there. There's some great fish to see, there's some great corals and the marine life to explore. Now, I think you didn't know that St. Kitts itself, yes, St. Kitts was awarded at the recent World Travel Awards, the Caribbean's leading dive destination. So if you've got any clients out there, they're into scuba, snorkeling and enjoy the water, highly recommend a trip to St. Kitts because the waters are beautiful. The marine life, outstanding. Now, also on the island, quite unique to us, we have the only railway in the Caribbean. It is the scenic sugar train railway. It's the old uh, sugar mill plantations where it used to export uh, the sugar, uh, sugar reefs around the island. And you can see them now, get on the train. It's ideal with the boys and girls and mums and dads. It takes a couple of hours, goes at a nice slow place. Whilst you're on there, you'll get some petition dances. You'll have some rum and some <laughs> soft drinks for the boys and girls, but you'll experience the whole island. And one of the most beautiful things I ever see when I'm on the island is you go along the uh, sugar train, the local boys and girls will come out and give you a beautiful wave and you know smiles and it just brightens up your day. And that just goes into the whole thing about immersing yourself into the culture and the people. They are some of the most friendliest, genuine people you will ever meet, Catitians. And you can do other things while you're there. Painting with a local artist is getting very, very popular. They take you to a unique destination, maybe in the rainforest, on the beach, and they help you how to, uh, to draw and to paint. And also, um, St. Kitts is known for its cuisine. And one of the things we can do is actually get you a local chef and you can cook with a local chef and taste a beautiful uh, culture in the food itself. It's absolutely amazing. So these are just some of the things that your clients can get up to um, whilst they're on the island as well. Now, talking about food, oh, we do love our food and St. Kitts is up there with the very, very best. We have uh, the farm to food experience at Belmont Farm and Arthur's Beach. There's some high-end experience uh, restaurants like Marshall's on the island, or you can go down to Reggae Beach and just chill out with a beat, you know, barefoot dancing on the sand with the new live music and the uh, lobster and steak nights they have down on a Friday. But food is very, very important to petitions. And I'm gonna show you just a quick video that really brings up um, brings home just how beautiful and important the food is to everybody on island. I've been farming since my young boy. This land, my grandfather has been cultivating land for a very long time. My slogan is no farm, no food. So for me, it's very important to be a part of this sustainable journey. I go here a lot of fruits, vegetables, a lot of hopes for healing. When you walk into the farm, it's like you feel a peacefulness. You come to this farm even just for eating. The environment for eating is very peaceful, and that is very important when you're eating food. What this island offers and what this farm offers is being able to eat directly from the land. I believe in farm to table. Without the farm, there is no food. And on your table, you do know that you are eating something that is nutritious and healthy and whole. Family is the foundation of everything that we do here. You'll find that right after a hard day of work, many families gather together. Food is very important to Kittishans. My mom's cooking is the best cooking in the country. She's very passionate about it. You can taste it in the food. It's bigger than the food. It's just the spirit, the togetherness that we take pride in, passing on the culture to the future generation and something that I think you'll, you'll forever be grateful for. Atos is located in Dietme close to the ocean. Every week we get our local fish from the Fishman Adair Bays. Quality ingredients come from your own natural resources, your own backyard, your own farmers, fishermen. On our menu, seafood chowder, which consists of our natural conch and lobster and fish. Cooked with the natural spices like ginger, turmeric and cinnamon. 
like when you come to Arthur's, you get this experience, unique flavors. There's two things in life that everybody needs. Wake up in the morning with the breath of life in your system and a good, good meal to eat. Sink is people, they are bold and the flavors are bold. Oh, don't know about you guys, but that's made me feel a little bit hungry. <laughs> Maybe after the webinar, I might just go and get some. Um, but I've got to say, every time we go down, and, and we're very lucky and privileged, we do take fam trips down. And every fam trip we take, uh, we go down to Arthur's on the beach and experience that beautiful natural food that they prepare for you. Remember, St. Kitts, there's no massive all inclusive, there's no inclusive hotels on the island. It's not a rack and pack and stack and destination. It's where we invite you again to venture deeper, explore the cuisine, explore, invest time into the people. It's an amazing island. And also with food, you may like a little drink. Now, the Kittitian's Rum Master course is quite new to the island where you can indulge yourself into a, a, a training course and become a rum master. It takes a few hours and you can learn all about the spirits down there, the rums. In fact, St. Kitts in the Wingfield Estate is home of the oldest surviving rum distillery in the whole of the Caribbean. No matter what other islands say, it is in St. Kitts. Um, but they do brew some of the beautiful rums. You've got a uh, hibiscus rum at the uh, Spice Mill restaurant down there as well. You can go there for your dinner and you can purchase some of the beautiful hibiscus uh, rum that's available. And you will learn more about making rum cocktails uh, and all the ingredients that go into making the perfect uh, rum cocktail. And you can be king of the barbie when you invite your friends around and deliver some beautiful rum-based cocktails. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting peckish and I'm getting thirsty now. Mm. Well, when you're on St. Kitts, it is a summer of fun. There are an abundance of activities going on throughout the year. And um, just a little while ago, we had the St. Kitts Music Festival. Um, happens every year at the end of June, beginning of July. We have some real A-listers coming down there. Um, some reggae calyp and calypso music. Um, some, we had uh, John Legend down there. Mary J. Blige has been down there as well. I think this year they had Air Supply performing. It really is a vibe, a festival, something you will always remember. But there are some other things throughout the year. Obviously, no Caribbean island is complete without the cricket tournament. And we've got the Cricket League down there in September. And St. Kitts and Nevis, our sister island, we have a restaurant week, which happens this week, I believe. And I think it's um, the theme is pineapple. I think uh, they have all these pop-up kiosks and restaurants and every restaurant does a menu taster as well. And there's lots of uh, pineapple flavoured um, choices for you to enjoy. And there's also the Mango Festival. Every year, Nevis, our sister island, has a fantastic uh, mango festival. And I think there's over 44 different varieties of mango on the island that they invite you to come and share. So lots of do in the summer of fun on St. Kitts. Now, let me tell you about some of the beautiful hotels that we saw in the video about Arthur's on the beach, and that's associated with Belmont Farm. It's suitable for couples and older family and small groups, a real well-being mindset property. It's nestled uh, in the midst of the plantations uh, on the tropical farm, the farm to table experience is there. For accommodations, there's two, three and four bedroom villas. And every time I've taken uh, travel agents to visit Belmont Farm. It, it literally is a jaw dropping experience with a fantastic accommodation that is available. It's a real step back into yesteryear. And it's featured in a few uh, Hollywood films. I think they had Christmas at Caribbean with Liz Hurley that was down there quite recently as well. So a great recommendation of Belmont Farm. Our flagship property um, is the Park High, a five star luxury property for your clients to enjoy right on Cockleshaw Bay, uh, Banana Beach area, families, couples, great kiddies club down there. Um, it really is just 126 rooms spread over a, bar, uh, a nice area with three signature restaurants. The spa is phenomenal down there in the park. Right? Nine treatment rooms for your clients to enjoy. And there's water, non-motorized water sports to enjoy. But you just look at those panoramic views from every room at the park. Right? It's just unbelievably perfect. And the Koi Resort, if you don't know what Koi means, it's Japanese for love. And we love this resort, part of the Hilton Collection, um, beautiful location 
ideal if you've got clients who want to go down and play golf. It's near the golf course. Um, it's on the Atlantic side of the island. You've got great sea views. The penthouse is amazing. The rooms are, it's a Hilton hotel. It's safe. But the rooms are fantastic. Fully air conditioned, TV, all your mod cons are there as well. And fantastic views from each and every room at the Cory Resort and some great restaurants for your clients to enjoy as well. And your usual facilities are the great pool, gym and the spa. Everything's there at your fingertips for your clients to enjoy whilst they're staying at the Koi Resort. Our newest resort on the island is the Ramada by uh, Wyndham at St Kitts. It's on the northern side of the island. And there are talks about making this an all-inclusive hotel, uh, being the first one on the island. But again, it's ideal for families, groups, uh, and couples is a great suite and villa resort over 273 units for your clients to choose what room type they need there's a free restaurants there's bars and a spa and the pool is, <laughs> is big there is a great swimming pool there uh, for your clients to enjoy each and every day and the rules and kids again if you've got any golfers um this is an ideal location for your guys to join in you're literally on the golf course um, ideal for families and couples and groups, 250 rooms and suites. It's been recently renovated and we stayed there um, earlier on in May this year. And everybody in my group that stayed there loved it. It was fantastic. The Sugar Bay, you've got clients maybe on a lower budget. Um, this is ideally situated in the area of Frigate Bay. Ideal for families, couples and uh, small groups. Again, 89 room beachfront property. Down a few steps, you're on that beautiful beach on the Atlantic side. Great gardens surrounding the property as well. And it's well located, as I say, in Frigate Bay. And there's cash shops and restaurants just right outside the property. And Timothy Beach Resort itself, it's on the Frigate Bay area. Um, unbelievably close to the main activities in Frigate Bay. And what they call the strip, where there's restaurants, restaurants, restaurants. Um, but you come out of your room down at uh, Timothy Beach. Five steps from the pool area, you are on uh, the bay itself, Frigate Bay, beautiful sandy bay. Uh, you can enjoy it's like a mill pond. And if you have a look at that top uh, picture on the left hand side, uh, that's the Caribbean side, and in the distance is uh, the Atlantic side. That's how close you are from one side to the other. You could walk it in maybe 10, 15 minutes quite easy from one side to the other. But that's Timothy Beach. This is a great price. A leading property for the island of St Kitts, Timothy Beach Resort. Now, my go-to hotel on every visit that I go to is the great team down at the Marriott Hotel. It really is a superb hotel. You couldn't ask for better staff um, and customer service. And Alicia will be telling you more about the hotel in a short while, as soon as I've finished. Thank you, Alicia. And then we also have the Sunset Reef. And I know Tracy will tell you more about the hotel itself, but it is, again, a lead state-of-the-art hotel, fantastic little seven uh, ensuite rooms, and Tracy will tell you all about Sunset Reef in a very short while. Now, as travel agents, we do have a thirst for knowledge. What can we learn? Where can we learn it? And we do have our online training, the St. Kitts Specialist. On there, you've got uh, news about our reward system with My Booking Rewards. We have When we have the webinars, we have our online training down there as well. There's a whole abundance of um, training manuals we can do and guides. We've got a travel guide. We've got the food guide, romance guide, and brand new, the dive guide is there for you as well. And I love that picture because that's the Marriott Hotel, which you're going to learn all about in a minute from Alicia. So some great guides there. Remember, guys, every travel agent, we are on the same side. We want your clients to have a fantastic vacation with us on Island of St. Kitts. Now, we do have a reward program. We firmly believe if you're selling us, we will support you and reward you. And for every booking that you do of seven nights uh, to the Islanders kits, doesn't matter what hotel they're staying in, just put log it onto your My Booking Rewards and we will pay you £50 per booking. That's an amazing, amazing uh, incentive there. £50 for each and every booking. Now, the contact details, very important. You may want to screenshot this one. Obviously, me, Graham, I'm based in the UK. Uh, you can contact me for any support that we can help you with um, in selling and promoting the island of St. Kitts. Maybe there's a group of you, you want to do an afternoon tea, a coffee morning, do let me know. I'm happy to arrange that for you. My good friend and colleague, Lisa, is here also to help you on any marketing you may want to do. 
And over in the US, there's Lisa. <laughs> and over in the US, we have a fantastic team. Um, just a short bit of tips away, just Denise there. And we got Alison as well. They will help you in any way they can to overcome any barriers that you may have. If you need any more information about the island of St. Kitts, they're there for you in the US. And myself and Lisa are here available at any time in the UK. Now, I believe I'm going to pass you on to Alicia, who's going to tell you more about, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and pass you on to Alicia to tell you more about the beautiful Marriott Resort in St. Kitts. Thanks, Alicia. Hi, good morning, everyone. Thank you, Graham. Um, after listening to you, I almost said to myself, I want to go there. <laughs> then I remember I'm already here. So I'm quite lucky. Um, like Graham, I'm going to present to you the Sengi Smart Resort. We're going to dive into it uh, a little bit more um, so that you can learn as much as you can. I'm also here if you need any information, and then I'm going to show a short video at the very end. So again, I'll present to you the Sengi Smart Resort. All right, so just some information about the hotel. This is an overview about my property. We're a 389 luxury room and suite resort with 10 restaurants and lounges three pools with the beach access, um, nine treatment room, Emerald Mispa and Salon, an 18 hole championship um, golf club and golf course. Um, we do have a casino with over 35 table games and over 350 slot machines. Um, just as additional information, we do offer complimentary Wi-Fi in our public areas and we do have meal plans available on site, anywhere from our all-inclusive plans to breakfast only, if your clientele are interested in that. Um, we do have beverage only packages. Um, we also have um, breakfast and lunch, breakfast, lunch and dinner, breakfast and dinner. So whatever you need, we have a bit of everything um, to offer to you. Um, our guest rooms, um, as you can see the photo right here, we have 320 rooms that comes in a variety of views. They're almost set up and laid out the same. It's just a matter of your view and your preference. Um, we have ocean views, pool view rooms, garden view rooms. Um, we have guest rooms that can be requested as kings or doubles. Uh, maximum occupancy is four persons per room. All suites and all rooms have undergone a, a soft goods renovation in 2018 and over into 2019. Um, most of our rooms are connecting. I would say about 95% of them are. Just our suites do not connect, which is quite ideal for families, friends, or anyone wishing to stay close by. Um, all rooms except our garden rooms features a private balcony or patio. Um, all rooms includes a mini refrigerator, a safe deposit box, um, coffee and tea station, um, flat screen TV, um, direct dial telephone, individual climate control, and luxury bedding, just to name a few. Um, we have 69 suites in total. Our suites are 123 bedroom suites. Um, in ascending order, they go from Resort View, um, Ocean View, Royal Mountain View, Royal Ocean View, and then we have our one and two bedroom villas which are, are, are quite trendy if you are looking to sell it a bit longer um, they come equipped with a, a full kitchen a dining area and a wash and dryer um, the photo that you're seeing is a picture of one of our suites um, this would be one of our royal suites again um, we do have one and two bedroom villas outside as well those are more by the pool side and the beach side but those come equipped with um, kitchenettes and dining area and washing machines all right, in terms of our restaurants, we have, um, to name them, we have La Cucina Restaurant, which is our Italian restaurant. Fire, which is our um, newly done, we, we completed that last year, um, our steak and seafood restaurant. Uh, we is our great room, it's absolutely fabulous for gathering. Um, it also features a sushi bar. Um, we also have nightly, not nightly, but we do it four nights per week. Um, in season, we have live band there um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night. So if you're looking for something to do after hours, um, you can enjoy a live band. Um, we also have Calypso Restaurant, which is our main breakfast location. Bohemia Restaurant that features our swim-up bar um, and have lots and lots of 
Ireland and comfort food. Um, then in other dining options, we also have Calypso Cafe, we have our pizza shop, um, home service is available um, as well at the, at the hotel um, from 6 a.m. until midnight. And then for our bars, we have our lobby bar, our beach bar, swim up pool bar, and then there's also the casino and sky lounge bar. Um, and I'm gonna dive a little bit more into the sky lounge. Um, right here, this is just a photo of a restaurant, just so that you get a, a little bit view of what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. It's located on the ground floor. Um, this is our Italian restaurant. And mind you, all of our restaurants have an open kitchen concept. So you would see from the photos that you can always see what the chefs are preparing for you um, once you're dining in. And this is a, a, this is a small snap of what our Aoi bar and great room looks like. Um, there's a lot more to see, but um, hopefully you'll be able to pick it up from the video. And if you come visit, of course, um, that would be the most ideal way to experience it. Um, this is Calypso Cafe. Uh, the cafe opens from 6 a.m. right down until midnight also. And they offer anything from your grab and go breakfast. If you just want to lounge around, you can. Um, lunch options like salads and sandwiches if you don't want to have a full dining experience and they also have um, a short um, dinner menu. And this is Calypso Cafe. Um, we also have a spa, the Mermaid Spa. The Mermaid Spa um, features nine treatment rooms for face and body therapies, including two bushy showers. I would say right now it is closed. We're due to have a grand opening um, in August, um, we've completely renovated it, um, updated it, um, added some new features. Uh, we've expanded our, our Manny and Penny area, so it's supposed to be even nicer than what it, what, what it was. We haven't removed um, anything as far as I know yet, but again, um, hopefully we'll have some updated photos once we've reopened. But again, that's the Emerald Miss Spa. Um, it also does have um, relaxing lounging. Lounges including um, our steam rooms, we have sauna, we have hot well pools also included, and cold plunge pools. Now, there's female and male areas, both areas feature exactly the same thing. So, if you don't want to have any service done, you can just book a, a pass for the spa and just enjoy the um, services. Um, it also has a full service salon with hair and nail and makeup services all available. And attached to the Emerald Miss Spa, of course, is our um, fitness center, which is furnished with all, um, all the latest equipment. This is the casino. So I always like to tell my clients that the, the hotel has a bit of everything for you, um, for you to experience. You don't have to leave if you don't want to. It's, it's, it's a quite a majestic hotel. It's, it's comfortable, it's family oriented. And even if you are here with your kids or not, there's always something for you to do. There's shopping, um, there's dining. We do have three pools. We have the beach and then the casino, which offers um, really nice nightlife. Um, and I did explain previously that we, it's one of the largest in the Caribbean, which features over um, 45 um, table games and over 350 slot machines. Now the Sky Lounge. The Sky Lounge is an area within the casino if you want to relax um, even later into the night, because the casino closes I like to say whenever the last person leaves, <laughs> they stay open a little bit later, 3 a.m., 2 a.m., just depending on how busy they are. The Sky Lounge also offers a place for you to relax. They do a DJ there every weekend. Um, if you're with your, your, your loved ones, your girlfriends, your friends, you can just go there, enjoy a really you know nice drink mixes and cocktails and enjoy the music. You can get up and dance if you want to, but this is a picture of um, the Sky Lounge located in the, the casino. Um, not forgetting our golf course. Um, this is our Royal Golf Course. Um, definitely if you're on island, you must experience it. If you're into golf, of course, I have clients that are into golf. It is something to experience. And here we are, just an aerial view of what the property looks like. What you're seeing right here is what we call our main building, um, it has five floors, and then we have villas that, that are located outside. You can see a little bit of the main pool, well, a lot of the main pool, and um, some of our north pool, but there's also a south pool here. Um, we do share our property with Timeshare. They do own some of the villas outside. Um, the facilities are open to all guests. 
Um, and uh, as you can see, we offer some great ocean views and mountain views anywhere you're located on property. All right, and this is our beach. It's located on the Atlantic side. We have built a, a, a man-made reef, which makes it quite enjoyable, somewhat like, I like to say like a pond area. Um, it also offers great snorkeling. And just a picture of our fitness center. And I'm just gonna show you, share with you our video. Can you hear the sound, bro? No, we can't see anything or hear anything. You can't see the video? No, we can just see the Dropbox link for the Marriott video. You need to, sh if, it, if, it's not, if it's not built into the presentation, you need to stop sharing. Find your video and reshare. Unless Graham, you want to send it out to everybody at the end. Yeah, I yeah, think I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'll talk to Alicia and we'll get it out to uh, in a follow up. All right, Super. thank you guys. Thanks, Alicia. Is is that everything with um, Mary? Uh, Yes, it is. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm here. Should you need anything, Graham? Thank you so much. I'm going to share with you um, the the video so that you can send it out. And um, if you want to visit our website, it's www.marriott.com/skbrb. Sync it. We're there. Um, that was the fantastic Marriott, and I can't emphasize enough. It's a great go-to hotel. It is lovely. The facilities are fantastic. And talking about beautiful, superb hotels. I'm going to pass you on to the lovely Tracy Dyson, who's going to tell you more about the outstanding Sunset Reef. Over to you, Tracy. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Tracy, and I head up the team at Central Detail, and we are very, very fortunate to present um, to represent Sunset Reef, a very new property in St Kitts. So first of all, welcome to Sunset Reef St Kitts. As I say, it's one of the newest properties to open its door, not quite the newest. And we're in this very small village of Trinity. The property itself is just seven suites. Um, so we're complete opposite to what Alicia's just uh, presented. Uh, one end of the scale, David and Goliath, I think we could say. Um, but we offer completely unobstructed water views over that lovely Caribbean sea. And of course, as the name says, there's plenty of lovely tropical sunsets. So this is a very much an uncommercialized resort, um, very small, very boutique. And it has a lot of lush tropical greenery around it. In the background, you've got lovely mountainside. Um, and then in front of you, you've got the warm, um, you know, the warm Caribbean sea. And in between, lovely swaying gentle palm trees and a really lovely paradise tropical gardens. Um, for anyone that's going to Sunset Reef, we kind of have our own little slogan. Um, and it really is a sanctuary for those that want to come there seeking relaxation. So what we actually say, it's an opportunity to refresh your body and soothe your soul. So that is our Sunset Reef little slogan. The actual grounds themselves, as I say, host these seven suites and they really do design, um, blend a timeless design um, of elegance, if you like, within that Caribbean background. So really, really tropical. The suites themselves are very much understated, um, but luxurious. They're very airy um, and they range from one bedrooms through to four bedrooms, but you can actually connect a two bedroom and a six, uh, to four bedroom to make a six bedroom. And obviously being seven suites in all, you could do a complete buyout as well. All the rooms feature, um, they, now I've got to get this out right, so they have um, inlaid showers, they also have electronically adjustable king size beds, the finest linens throughout, and we have local cool to touch co uh, coral flooring. And whether you reserve just one room, as I say, or the 
whole resort itself, you are really going to enjoy uncompressed, un real, real lovely luxury um, at the whole resort. Sorry, a bit tongue tied there today. Um, the gardens themselves, as you can see here, they are elevated. So anyone that does have walking challenges, um, do be aware that this is an elevated resort. There's not a huge amount of steps as such, but the paths are uneven and there are slopes. So just please be mindful with regard to that. But they are lovely manicured gardens throughout. And the gardens have now been extended throughout the resort. So we now have our own kitchen gardens where a lot of the produce is grown that we use in our restaurants. So there is a huge farm to table concept here using fruits, herbs and vegetables from the gardens. And this is just going to extend further and further. So this is a very proud our chefs are and our gardeners of our Sunset Reef kitchen garden. There are little sort of nooks and crannies throughout the resort where you'll find little fire pits and little sofa areas where you can have private dining. Really brilliant to sit there perhaps during the day, watch out for turtles and dolphin or jumping fish, or you could just sit here and have a sundowner in the evening by one of the fire pits. So again, you can see here the pool, the resort is very small. Um, we do have a beach and the beach at the moment is currently stony. Um, I'd rather be straight up with you on that, but this is a very new property and there are plans to develop the beach with a jetty. Well, there is a jetty there already, so people can go and swim in the sea, um, but we're gonna have some more decking area down on the beach and they are gonna be importing some sand. But there is a beach literally just up the road. The hotel will take you to with uh, sunbeds and umbrellas and you can enjoy um, the beach if that's what your clients are looking for. Few more pictures of our heated um, infinity pool, which has a full concierge service. So you can sit here and relax, lovely turquoise waters. And I think I just look at these pictures and I just think, take me there, please. It's just so relaxing and peaceful. Uh, listen to the birds, listen to the trees swaying and the ocean waves just touching and kissing up to the, um, to the, surf, uh, to the coastline there. So we do have a gym. Um, people are becoming more increasingly aware of the importance of health and wellness, which I think is a good thing. And at Sunset Reef, we do offer a full um, range of activities. So everything from yoga down to personal trainers, they do a complete personal training setup plan for you, which will also involve the chefs if that's what you're looking for. We can offer massages, whether it's overlooking the sea or you can have, um, we have this massaging deck again that overlooks the ocean. We have a full state of the art gym, um, part of it's inside, part of it's outside. We have bikes in there without wheels, but we also have bikes on the resort with wheels if you actually want to go off the resort and uh, go and explore a little bit further of the island itself. Now, I think really my favorite part um, of um, Sunset Reef has got to be the food and beverage here. So the rates themselves include breakfast, um, but we can extend that through to half board, full board, all inclusive or even luxury, all inclusive and private chefs. So guests, all the rooms, all the suites are fully fitted and we do have a guest outside grill and pizza oven as well that guests are welcome to use. And we have two bars on the property. So here's the sand bar, the place to go and have um, a sundowner or a cocktail during the afternoon, or even perhaps a coffee in the morning, get your book out, watch the ocean, watch the waves rocking in. The, we also have um, wine pairing, which we've been doing recently. So we've actually paired up with um, a local um, distillery, a uh, wine distillery, and they're coming in and we're doing taster menus. And this is actually um, becoming and proving to be more and more popular. And we're finding that residents are coming in from outside the resort as well to do all the wine pairing. So whether clients are just looking to go to the drop anchor grill and just have a dinner and they're staying on full board and they just want to eat, have breakfast and dinner there every day, whether they want to have a private sunset dinner on their balcony or down on one of the private decking areas, that can all be arranged. We also have a service that we call catch and cook. So guests can actually charter um, a Caribbean uh, a boat, go out into the Caribbean ocean, go and catch their red snapper or their tuna, 
bring it back to the resort. The staff will gut the fish for them. And then they've got the choice of either cooking it in the outside ovens, or of course, one of the staff will cook it for them and they can really enjoy that. But for me, I think, you know, if you've got the funds to support it, what better than to have a private chef? Um, I think really one of life's greatest pleasures to let them really centralize your taste buds and what a really good feast, not just for your eyes, but let's say obviously your tummy as well. So really, really great. Now this resort has to be one of the most environmentally, uh, environmentally and sustainably um, good resorts in the Caribbean. So they're really kind of ahead of the game. Being a newer property, they've very much taken on board what they need to do with sustainability. So their actions have come um, right across from when the hotel was built, from the hotel structure, through to even the room linings, where they source their cuisine, which you've seen, a lot of their fruit and vegetable is actually taken from the property. And if it isn't available there, then it is bought locally. We have our own water um, purification system, which is used right throughout the gardens and right throughout the property to the showers. And they have their own geothermal system as well. Now, all of this is there, but it doesn't compromise the actual experience the guests have. It actually elevates that luxury experience in keeping basically the integrity of the land intact, which in this day and age is very, very important. As Graham's mentioned, there's lots to do around St. Kitts. We have a full concierge service that will literally do anything and organize anything that the guests want. So whether it's, an, it's something within the resort for paddle boards, kayaks, snorkeling, they want a beach barbecue, they want a beach picnic, they want chairs taken down to the beach up the road and a little setup with umbrellas and things. All of that can be sorted right through to chartering a boat, going off and really exploring and doing some of the excursions that Graham mentioned earlier, all the highlights and all the adventure that St. Kitts has to offer. So that's kind of St. Kitts itself. I'm just really just wanted to end up saying we are around if you do need anything, any training, any um, maps of the property, any more support you need on the property with St. Kitts, um, do let us know. And I just really wanted to give you an idea of price as well um, for Sunset Reef. And um, you're looking this September, a price would be around about £1,700. And for those of you over in the US, you're looking at about 2200 That's with flights from the UK. So not quite from the US, but I can't imagine it'd be too much different um, for seven nights on a and b basis. Half board is a $70 supplement and all inclusive $150. Those are per person pricing. We will follow up with you through Graham and the St. Kitts Tourist Board. So if you want any more information, please do not hesitate to give us a shout. Thanks ever so much for your time and joining us from all around the world. Really lovely to see so many people and I'm gonna hand you back to Graham now. Oh, oh, oh wow. I'm memorized, uh, mesmerized by those two lovely hotels. And guys, um, just before we wrap up, just want to clarify one thing I said in the presentation. Um, I think I mentioned it about the Ramada Hotel, possibly an all inclusive. I just want to uh, reiterate there are no full all inclusive hotels per se uh, on the island, but every individual hotel can offer your clients, as Tracy said, for instance, half board, full board, or it's luxury or inclusive. Uh, for your clients, but there are personally no all inclusive uh, hotels. Just want to clarify that because there was a question in the Q&A. So hopefully that's clarified it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, travel agents here, there and everywhere, that was uh, St. Kitts. So whether um, you want a passive or an active holiday, um, you want sort of beach time, or you want rainforest time, it's all there, rest and relaxation or just to have fun. So as an intimate island of St. Kitts, we invite you and your clients to venture deeper and have a vacation you'll never forget. Well, I'm finishing your, sorry. <laughs> you don't Thank mind. you very much, Graham. So I hope you've all learned a lot. So we're gonna to go to the part of the day where we hope that Graham's got a little question and answer for us at the moment. So um, if you can all go to chat and make sure your drop down says everyone, 
There is a prize of £50 or $60 um, or euros, depending on where in the world you are located for one of the winners. So just as a reminder, everybody is entered into the prize draw. The person who answers the question correctly, fastest finger first, they will get 10 entries. And then I'll let you know tomorrow who the winner is when I do the follow up with um, the recording and all the details. So, Mr. Graham, do you have oh, a yes. question for us? Uh, I'm going to think of a question right now for everybody. Now, we did mention uh, on the island about the sort of foodie week. It's a celebration of culture and cuisine. But we also showed a video as well about a place on the island where they really do have farm to table experience. And can you name the restaurant that was featured in the video? And we mentioned it as a few times as well. That's a good one. I can see the answers coming in. Okay, so it seems to be at the moment between Marshalls and Arthur's. Yes, it is. You... It's a, there's a big, big difference between the two. Marshalls and is, is an exquisite fine dining restaurant and they've got some items on the menu which is superb. But the farm to table experience is really enjoyed on the beach at Arthur's restaurant. Brilliant. So the first person was Beth with that answer. So well done, Beth. You've got 10 entries. Everybody else won. I will let you know if you are the winner tomorrow, Beth, or if it is, if it's the spin to win has fallen on somebody else. So fingers crossed. Uh, Tracy, Lisa, Alicia, thank you. Great webinar as always. It's amazing to see St. Kitts. It's such a beautiful little island with such diversity. So we're loving it. And I think everybody's loving that little train. So we'd all love to go. Don't forget to take us. We'll do a big, a big fam trip. We'll all go together, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's good. I'll put it in the diary. Good, good, good stuff. Thank you. Um, any other questions you've got, please reach out to the team. We'll, we'll see you all tomorrow. We've got the Fun in the Sun webinar. So a big thank you to everybody. See you all soon. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. See you soon. Bye. 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 Thanks, Alicia. Well